Hey guys, Bearded Woodworker here. Not doing a woodworking project today, but I do have a Whirlpool Duet front loader washer and dryer I got for $200 on Craigslist. And it's been working so far since we've got it a few months ago. But within the last couple of weeks, I kept getting an error code F02. And I'm gonna show you today how to take care of that. There are a handful of videos out there, but I haven't found one yet that takes you through the whole process. So stick with me and I'll show you how to do it. First of all, you wanna make sure you unplug your washer. And I might be able to reach it from here. So the F02 code means that it's not draining properly and the first thing you do want to check is right behind this gasket here are some holes. There's the drainage holes there and you want to make sure that there, there wasn't a sock or something that got in there stopping that. So I've checked that and of course you can see it's clear. So now the next step is to access that drain panel. I'm going to pull it forward a little bit. It's on these little stands that I made out of a solid core door. Nine dollars. So I'm gonna pull it forward. We're gonna go for the screws that are on underneath here. Be right back. So you can see there's some star bits. Three screws that I need to get at. And I might actually have something that's gonna work. If not, it does kind of look like these are hex screws, and maybe you could use a socket wrench. I'll grab both. Hey, hi, Kit Kat. Slides right on down. Oh, come on, get down. So you can see right here is the trap, and right here, a bunch of spider webs. Well, I'm hoping that if we pull that trap out, that is just going to be uh, full of crap. So there's another screw with a star bit right there. Not a hundred percent sure, but I think this might be a number one star bit. So what I want to do is pull it forward so I have a way for it to drain out. saw one video of a guy found a sock inside this thing. That's pretty funny. So I've got a bucket down here. Getting ready for water that spills. There we go.
Yeah, look at that. I say there was some blockage there. And I do see could be a sock myself. Oh, look at that. Well, son of a bitch, it is a sock. Wondering where that thing went. I don't even know if that was ours. It could have been the guy that owned this before. Look at that. A popsicle stick. That's that's amazing. An awful lot of either hair or lint. Alrighty then. Looks pretty good. So now you want to put it back. See this little notch right here? Goes right into there. So we'll push it back in there. Straight. We'll give it a really good tighten. And then I'm going to try to get these little rubber bushings back in. Okay, you see that? Little rubber feet bushings go right back in then I'll take this screw put it back in there tighten it a little bit and reverse the steps right, so it slides up first And we're done. So there we have it. Turn it on. Start it. Typically it died on me about halfway through, maybe 19 minutes left. So I'm gonna check back on it and let you guys know if what we did was a success. All right, there you have it. We're down to seven minutes left. And it bypassed the error code around 19 minutes that I usually have. So I hope this helped you out. If you don't have a Whirlpool and you have a Samsung or any other front loader and having the same kind of issues, it's the same problem. There's different access codes. Some have a little door in the front. There might even be some in the back. I don't know. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope this helps you out. If you'd like to watch some more videos on home improvement or even woodworking, be sure to like and subscribe. This is the Bearded Woodworker. Thanks for watching. Thank you.